In this video, you'll learn how to use the Hunter Easy DT Diagnostic Tool to program and troubleshoot the Hunter Easy Decoder System. What is the Easy DT Diagnostic Tool? The Easy DT is a wireless, handheld tool designed for use with Hunter Easy One decoders. You can use it for system diagnostics and electrical troubleshooting in the field without uninstalling decoders. Decoder Diagnostics and Troubleshooting Let's look at how to perform decoder diagnostics in the field. First, activate the desired station in the controller to energize the two-wire path. Next, go to the decoder location. You can verify that the EZ1 decoder is activated by observing the LED. It should be blinking green. Using the EZ DT diagnostic tool, position the decoder like this. Then, Navigate to the home screen and select Read. Then, press Enter. You'll hear two beeps, after which the decoder information will be displayed. Pertinent system details will be displayed in the EZDT screen, including station number, status, voltage on the two-wire path, current draw, and firmware versions. If the decoder reading fails, you'll see a red X in the display. If you notice that the decoder's LED is not blinking green, you'll need to verify that the station is active. You can also check the wire path and connections. Once you confirm that everything is working properly, try again. Programming Easy one Decoder Station Address Wired Connection You can program Easy one Decoders at the decoder module, or you can use the Easy dt Diagnostic Tool. To use the Easy dt in the field, You'll need to disconnect the decoder from the two-wire path. Open the top cover of the Easy DT Diagnostic Tool and insert the red and blue wires from the decoder into the programming ports. From the home screen, select Program. Then choose Station or PMV. With Station selected, choose the desired station number. Or if you need to program a pump master valve, select PMV Output. Successful programming of the Easy one decoder is confirmed with two beeps along with a green check mark and the green LED will flash on the decoder. As a reminder, the Easy one decoders cannot be programmed wirelessly. Write a designation on this decoder so you'll know it's been set up for the station or as the pump master valve with a permanent marker. Updating firmware. The firmware for Hunter controllers and components is periodically updated. Using the Easy DT Diagnostic Tool, it's easy to get the update and upload it to the hardware. You'll need to have a micro SD card, a micro SD slot on your computer, or an external card reader attached to your computer. To obtain firmware updates, visit the Hunter website and navigate to the Easy One Decoder product page. Once there, Look under Documents and download the file you need. Choose the desired file on the website, then select Download. The file will download as a zip file. Next, extract the files and save them to the drive with the micro SD card. Once you have the file you need, eject the micro SD card and insert it into the micro SD slot located in the battery compartment of the Easy DT Diagnostic Tool. Look for an icon in the battery compartment that shows the proper positioning of the card in the reader. If you're updating the ICC2 controller face pack, go to the home screen on the EZDT diagnostic tool, select Update, then ICC2. Now, remove the ribbon cable from the ICC2 controller power module and insert it into the ribbon cable connector under the top cover of the EZDT diagnostic tool. Once it's securely connected, press Enter. Successful updating is confirmed when you hear two beeps and see a green check mark in the Easy DT display. Updating Easy Decoder Module Firmware. You'll use a similar process to update the Easy DM Decoder Output Module. Once you have the correct firmware on your micro SD card, insert it into the Easy DT Diagnostic Tool. Choose Update from the home screen and select Easy DM. Now, Remove the ribbon cable from the ICC2 controller face pack and insert it into the ribbon cable connector under the top cover of the EZDT diagnostic tool. 
press Enter. If the update is successful, you'll hear two beeps and see a green check mark in the EasyDT display. Updating Easy One Decoders. Follow the exact same process to update Easy One Decoders up to the point where you connect the decoder to the EasyDT diagnostic tool. Insert the red and blue wires from the decoder into the EasyDT programming port. From the home screen, select Update, then Easy One, and press Enter. Send firmware updates to all Easy One decoders in the field. Remove the two wires from the Easy DM decoder output module that go to the field. Then plug them into the ports on the Easy DT diagnostic tool. From the home screen, select Update, then Easy One, and press Enter. Two beeps and a green check mark signal that you've successfully updated individual or multiple decoders. You could verify the update by wirelessly checking each decoder along the path with the EZDT. Changing the language on the EZDT diagnostic tool. The EZDT diagnostic tool offers 12 different language options. To access them, go to the home screen and choose Settings. Next. Select Language to view a list of available options. Select the language you want and press Enter. The display will now show all prompts in your chosen language. If there are any firmware updates available, you can also update your device at this time. To perform the update, visit the Hunter website and locate the EasyDT update file. Download the file onto a micro SD card. Insert the micro SD into the slot in the battery compartment of the EZDT. From the home screen, select Settings, followed by Update. Choose Yes or No. When the firmware is successfully updated, you'll hear two beeps and see a green check mark in the EZDT display. The EZDT diagnostic tool is a handy device to have available when working with the Easy Decoder system. Be sure to pick one up from your local authorized Hunter distributor. To learn more, visit HunterIrrigation.com.